Hey, how's it going? It's that time of the year again. Another semester, another tier list, where I rate my courses based on three criteria. My experience, the difficulty, and most importantly, my personal enjoyment, which is the only criteria that matters, making this the most objective tier list that you can find on the interwebs. Anyway, before we begin, I'd really appreciate it if you smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe because we're so close to a thousand subscribers and it'd be a really nice way to end 2020 on a good note. With that out of the way, let's get right to it. Starting with my three mandatory courses, then my two full year courses that are my electives. <sighs> Starting off the tier list strong, we have stats. If I were to compare stats with anything I've experienced before, it'd have to be constipation because no matter how hard you try, all you end up getting is shit. This has to be one of the worst courses that I've taken so far with dry lectures and just concepts that I just personally found hard to grasp myself. Now, it's definitely not impossible to do well in this course, but personally, I did not really enjoy this one. So this one's an F tier for me. Because nobody wants to be writing two assignments worth of statistical code when there's about one week left until the final exam. Thanks, Ben. Okay, so I'm editing right now and I figured I forgot to mention a few things about stats. And that is that there are so many quizzes. There are like 14 total and they're like once every week, which is kind of annoying, even though they're not worth a lot. But there are a lot of mistakes made in some of the questions early on, especially. And when I thought about it, there were also mistakes on the first one or two tests. And he had to correct some of the questions, which was kind of nerve wracking because there's only 15 questions and getting one of them wrong means you lose 7% of your mark in the test. So the fact that the tests and quizzes are out of so little, the quizzes are out of two and the tests are out of 15 and the final exam is out of 25, these tests that are given in statistics are very nerve wracking to say the least. Additionally, the lab assignments take forever to do and they're done using statistical software R, which I'm not too fond of even to this day. Even though I know it's practicality, it's not the greatest experience. But I feel like that is the most applicable portion of the course, if you pay close enough attention to it. The last thing I had to mention was he takes forever to respond on the forums, and sometimes his answers are kind of confusing. Moving on to the next course, we have Bio 2290, which is basically just learning how to do labs. How exciting! Now this course is one of a kind special, because it's pretty much the only essay course that I'm required to take for all of undergrad. And it's divided into four units, instrumentation, writing, experimental slash communication, and genetics. Now, as long as difficulty is concerned, this course isn't actually that difficult, but there are a truckload of assignments, to say the least, especially with the combination of these assignments plus all the assignments from stats being the quizzes or the lab assignments, it just gets really tedious like a swarm of ants. One is fine, but when there are too many, it's just a nightmare. This one's easily an F tier, along with stats. I didn't really enjoy this course that much, with the exception of the writing unit, which was way more organized than all the other units. Even though it's better than stats, F tier is still F tier, and you'd really have to screw up real bad in order to get worse than stats in this tier list. Next we have organic chemistry, aka the GPA destroyer, the pre-med shaker, the what can I do with my science degree if I'm not going to medical school, or simply the monster in my closet. Now this one was actually not as bad as I was expecting it to be. As long as you keep up with the classwork and the units, you should be fine. Ah, like if you put in the work, you're not going to get super screwed in this course. Like this course is pretty enjoyable for the most part because the professor tries to make things as easy as he can, being readily available for office hours every week and such. This course was enjoyable for the most part besides the final exam, which I was kind of unprepared for because I was too worried about stats, which I have Ruben to thank for. Overall, Orgo was quite the average course, nothing too hard, nothing to complain about. And the professor was quite nice. He gave us an assignment where we had to make a TikTok for 5% of our course mark. Now, it really doesn't get much easier than that. And if you tweet your TikTok to him, you get a free 1% bonus mark on top of whatever your final mark is. So he is quite the nice guy. Great prof, decent course, I give it a B tier. It's pretty close to A tier though. Next, I'm going to move on to my two full year elective courses, and I'm going to start with Classics 2300, which is basically focused on Greek and Roman sport or ancient athletics. So far, we covered the Greeks, and next term, we're going to cover the Romans. At first, I thought this course was going to be free as hell, and I was right, except for the fact that it actually takes some time to actually cover and memorize the lecture content. The lectures actually take a while to get through, and there's really no rhyme or reason as to why things are in this course besides the fact that they are. <laughs> like, there's no explanations for why things are like it is in science. 
things are just facts because they just said so. For example, you learned the origins of the marathon where some guy runs from place to place all day long during a war to deliver a message, and then he dies because he ran all day. Or even just the fact that Zeus cheats a lot on Hera, who just happens to be his sister as well. In one instance with a woman named Semele, who tells Zeus to make love to her like she does with Hera, in which Zeus responded by striking her with a bolt of lightning and she died. Basically, she tried to ride the lightning, but it didn't really turn out well for her. Anyway, seeing the amazing history of the ancient Greeks and all the nice views around Greece was really a nice change of pace for my science-filled semester, in which it feels like I've been learning the same thing for the past four years of my life, which kind of sucks. And yes, that is an image of an erect phallus. Overall, this course is pretty easy, though you still have to work a little bit. So this is an A tier for me. The classics professor was also a powerlifter, and he also coached some Olympians, which it's really cool. The last course for this tier list is physiology. Now this is quite an inoffensive course because it's just your typical physiology course. Nothing too out of the ordinary and you don't get any big surprises, surprisingly. I pretty much put the least amount of effort into this course and so far it's been treating me quite well because it's nothing out of the ordinary. I had to study more for classics than this one because I simply didn't have background knowledge on that subject compared to this one. I'm doing well in this course so far but that can change as the year progresses. So we'll see what happens next semester. But for now, it's going into the B tier because nothing really bad sticks out to me. Besides the fact that the audio is piss poor sometimes and it just kind of destroys my ears unexpectedly. Yeah, let me show you something. This is a cell that secretes large molecules. Now is the ability of a solution to cause osmosis. The concentration of an average cell is approximately 300 milliosmoles. Which kind of warrants a C tier for me because of the sudden audio surprises. I'm going to make two additions to the tier list because I took two of my mandatory courses during the summer and I thought I'd give it a mention. First being biochem. And I'd say that this one is not the easiest course that you'd be taking this year. And it's kind of interesting in some aspects because you get to learn about certain molecules in the body and why they perform a certain way because of the structure. To be honest, even though I thought this was somewhat interesting, it was pretty difficult and not super enjoyable but also not terrible. So I'm gonna give it a B tier. So I think that some people would argue it'd be lower. The other course that I took during the summer was cell biology. And I don't think I had any complaints with this course besides the fact that I didn't really enjoy it that much. It wasn't that hard because all you had to do is use Anki and memorize a bunch of stuff. It doesn't involve as much critical thinking as biochem, but you still have to think a little bit. Though memorization is a heavier component compared to biochem. Because I thought this was an average course, I'm gonna give it a B tier. Anyway, that about wraps up courses that I took in the summer and in this fall. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Hope your semester wasn't as bad as mine, but if it was, I hope you really enjoyed this break, even more so than I will. If you haven't already, make sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe with post notifications on because we're so close to hitting a thousand subs and it'd be a miracle if we can do that by the end of the year. Comment anything down below, including questions or anything, just so I can answer them in a Q&A video once I hit a thousand subs. Anyway, if you made it to the end of the video, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. And that's about it. See ya.